Lake City Airport. It's been under construction for the last couple years. They're tearing down the whole thing and expanding it. Today I'm headed to uh, London with the OnePlus launch event. It'll be about 24 hours worth of flying and about 48 hours once I'm there. Should be a fun trip. <laughs> So even though the airport's been under construction for a couple years now, and they're getting rid of all of the old terminals here at Salt Lake City, I've never actually been delayed for construction, even though I'm here all of the time. So whoever's running the construction on this one's doing a good job. Made it to London after a 10 hour flight. Traveling isn't always as glamorous as Instagram and YouTube make it appear to be, but it's still fun. You just have to learn to enjoy the moment. Tonight we have dinner and I have to get my video, my durability test uploaded. In the United States, this doesn't happen as much, but in order to get the lights on, you have to put your card in one of these little slots. And then all the lights go on. So in here we have the bathroom, got the mirror, got the tub, got the TV. And also a thing in Europe, they have a thing called sparkling water, which is like that fizzy water stuff. I prefer the regular water much more. View from the hotel window. Kind of nice. And it also has one of those old school pencil sharpeners that we had in grade school. All right, today is the day, the launch of the OnePlus 6. So last night we went to dinner with OnePlus. They had these uh, sweet little dessert things. You can see my clear phone in the background, which no one has seen yet. Um, it'll be fun to show that off at the conference today. Ran uh, six miles today to go see Big Ben. That was pretty cool. Didn't take my camera with me, uh, but I did take a picture. Apparently the whole thing's under construction for the next couple of years. So, so much for uh, sightseeing this morning. So I've uploaded my video when OnePlus sent out the invite. They also sent out the phone with the stipulation that it was under embargo until right after the launch. So I have it scheduled to go live as soon as the launch is over. So that should be fun. Later today we might try to do a meetup. I think Saf is here, Unbox Therapy, Keaton. So we'll see how that goes and uh, hopefully you enjoy the uh, event. All right, so we got to the OnePlus event. I'm gonna show you kind of like the inside, behind the scenes look of what like an influencer or a YouTuber sees behind the stage and how we operate. But I wanna show you this really quick. Big OnePlus mirror logo behind me. This thing is awesome. So this is the actual event. This is where all of the people watching the event are gonna sit. Pretty massive. As we've seen like where all the people are sitting outside with the two big monitors and stuff So this is where all like the press and people go afterward to like see the phones and film stuff So all of the phones are gonna be here We can grab drinks places to work over there on the side But what's cool is that there's these booths over here for people who need to make content really quickly So inside of these booths these walls obviously there's gonna be phones here later on all of the audio while I'm reviewing the phone in here Dampened the lighting is LED so everything's well lit which isn't something that most smartphone manufacturers think of or like, you know, events like this. We have to make the product look good and that means the lighting and the sound has to be right. All right, we are starting oh, in how many seconds? 38, 38 seconds. seconds. We have all of the right, social media influencers right here. We got Seth, Snapchat King over here. Oh, stop. Wow. I mean, if you want to follow me, don't stop. I'll put some highlights right here and then jump back into it after the thing is over. And now, this is the OnePlus 6. This is the fastest flagship experience OnePlus has ever created. With OIS, if the camera moves, it physically moves the lenses to compensate for that movement. That means it's especially effective at night when the camera needs greater stability for better exposure. We're proud to tell you that the OnePlus 6 will start at 469 pounds, 519 euros, and 529 dollars. 
the event is over. We had both these screens going at the same time and this auditorium was full. The OnePlus 6 has the dual cameras on the back, the glass. Obviously, you've seen my main channel videos. You know what it's all about. But it's cool seeing it from this perspective. When OnePlus hands us the phones, usually we get them like a week or two early so we can all make our videos and go live at the same time. All right, Keaton, what do you think, man? What do you think? OnePlus, what do you think of the pricing? What do you think of the phone? Tell us really quick. Dude, the price? I wasn't expecting 530. You? I was expecting $5.99, which I think people would I'd pay, pay it. $5.99. You'd pay it, I'd pay it. What's your favorite feature? Probably the OIS on the cameras. I think it's pretty sweet. The glass is cool. The glass is my favorite part. The design's beautiful. Removing the sweet. color on the glass yes. is gonna be even more cool. Dude, I don't I don't buy the whole we had to make it corrode. Like you gotta find out. No, have you seen the matte matte version of it? No, I haven't seen it. So the midnight is completely different the than the mirror. <laughs> I know that they're, they're both it's, black. It's so hard. Yeah. But when you look at the midnight black, it's almost like aluminum. Like visibly, it looks like aluminum. It's pretty sweet. Get a look at the midnight when you get a chance. All right, thanks. <laughs> in a circle I mean, of tech YouTubers here, and everyone is on their phones, which is uh, just how it should be. Uh, check it out, Super Saf TV. Forget everybody else's. <laughs> oh Only watch the one after mine. So as soon as this conference was over, this big group of tech YouTubers over here goes live from the YouTube app on their phones. And that's why you see a huge influx of the videos about the phone right after the embargo lifts. And everyone who didn't have early access to the phone is now inside of that room, filming it and touching it and explaining it for the very first time. You know what? Hey guys, this is YouTube with Zach Tech Gold, and I have Zach and Jane Oh, you guys coming in here to steal my shot? So this is the OnePlus you saw in my videos, the super reflective mirror black. You can almost see myself in the phone. Then we have the pearl white right here, which is kind of like a matte white, but it has the gold accent, almost like a rose gold along the sides. Looks pretty sweet. And then finally, we have what I think is my favorite, just this matte black, I think they call it a midnight black. And it looks almost like aluminum. If you look at the old OnePlus 5T, this is kind of the same feeling that that phone has, but it's actually glass. If I was to drop this, it might crack all the way through the back. Okay, so it's been all day. We've been at the event for most of the day. Have you eaten anything today? I haven't eaten anything. Okay. I'm starving. I ran six miles this morning and all I've eaten was four cookies. <laughs> Impressive that you're walking so, still. <laughs> and we cannot find a single place to eat. We've been in like two different bars and one line was like crazy long. So we're walking around, we're gonna find one more spot. All right, so we found the only food place within a very long while. We walked for a minute. Um, I ended up getting pizza, we got chicken, you get lamb. Lamb and chicken, yeah. Perfect. Chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken kebab. Bunch of satisfied customers. All right, so we are still in London and we found this sweet like red, we don't even know what it is. So me and Linus, what up? we're gonna go fly my drone around it really quick. And hopefully not get in trouble. I'm claiming I don't know this guy if anyone asks. <laughs> I very rarely get asked to operate a camera. I don't know if you know anything about my reputation. Yes, of course you do. <laughs> All right, so we're flying the DJI Mavic. This is the uh, platinum edition. Oh, that's cute. Does the uh, non-platinum have the uh, yellow light at the front? Um, I don't know, to be honest with you. Okay, so, lesson learned. You know, this is worth the shot, but around stadiums, I thought it was only like during games and like within like a certain period around games, but it actually says no fly zone and cannot take off because we're in a no fly zone. It was worth the shot. We learned something new. Now we, now you guys know. So this is great. <laughs> okay, let's pack up and that, get that, out of here. That was our intent, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? Yeah, we weren't actually gonna fly it. Yeah, I mean, that would have been irresponsible, right. duh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The flight with Linus didn't quite work out. The drones wouldn't take off next to a stadium, which does make sense, especially like an Olympic stadium. Sleep. Went to sleep around 3 a.m. London time. The, had my alarm set for 6.30 this morning. Didn't go off though, or I slept through it, I don't know. Anyway, my plane takes off in 10 minutes, and I'm about an hour from the airport still. So, missed that flight, but Delta rocks, and they actually got me a second flight at 12 and didn't charge me anything. So I'm super appreciative for that. Delta is the best airline to fly on. Since I'm gonna be cutting it close for that flight, as well when I was at the OnePlus event yesterday uh, they gave me this energy drink right here which I've always wanted to try out I've seen it online a little bit and I don't know how good it is to drink energy drink before a flight so let's see what it tastes like I haven't had a Red Bull in a minute but I think this is pretty much the exact same taste as a Red Bull it has the same kind of tastes like liquid Smarties almost and I think the caffeine content is about right on par with a Red Bull as well. I wonder if they just 
rebranded this with their own stuff. The Dash Energy is kind of like a play off of their Dash charging thing for OnePlus. Kind of creative. Well, super huge thanks for OnePlus for inviting me out to London. Sorry I missed the second flight, but also huge thanks to Delta for hooking me up with a second flight after I missed the first one. It was fun hanging out with all the other tech YouTubers like Super Saf, Linus Tech Tips, uh, Unbox Therapy, and tons of other guys who were there. You can check out my teardown, my durability test. By the time this is up, I think all of those should be posted. And uh, thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you around.